this video, I'm going to be comparing two devices. In the left bag is the RetroTank 2X Pro. This is a two times uh, scaler for your retro gaming consoles, and I've been using it for the past couple years, mostly for my online streams where I'm doing fundraising for my local children's hospital. Um, but I've recently picked up its older sibling. I guess it's newer sibling, but this is the big, big boy on the block. Uh, this is the updated version of the RetroTank Pro, which is the RetroTank 5X Pro. And uh, I thought I would just do a really quick hardware comparison because uh, I like to do things like that. Check things out, see how, how hardware changes uh, over iterations. So without further ado, let's jump right into that. Let's start by taking a look at the 2X Pro. Uh, I've had this for, I don't know, maybe a couple of years now. And uh, it's an awesome little device. It is capable of handling pretty much all of my retro consoles without any worry. Uh, on the front, I guess we can call this the front or the back. I don't know. This doesn't really have a uh, straight up front or back, but uh, we'll call it the bottom. On the bottom here, we have our composite and component input jacks. And uh, just like the 5X Pro, the green port here doubles up as your yellow video. Um, maybe we should do it this way. Because I think, no, let's keep it the same as the 5X Pro down here. As you can see on the 2X Pro, it's exactly the same as the 5X Pro. And the green port there doubles up for the component video and you have your left and right audio channels. So I'm gonna put this back down, Just I just wanted to show you that. Um, so that aspect of the board must be somewhat similar. I'd love to be able to take this apart. Uh, it does have screws on the case, unfortunately, but uh, I think it's a clip case. I'll talk to Mike about it, maybe I can figure out how to open this up without damaging it, because I would love to take a look at the main board cool thing about the 2X Pro is that you can kind of see the main board through this case. Very like 90s retro, uh, late 90s when all the Nintendo stuff had cool clear cases. But uh, yeah, I'm getting a little off track here. We have our component and composite input there. I have an S video on this left side. Uh, the opposite side of that, there are two little switches. And these switches are for your mode. So you can do a pass-through mode or you can do a 2X line. That's the pixel doubler for the device, which increases, it doubles the pixel resolution of your retro games. And up here is a comb filter. You can have it set to auto or you can have it set to retro. On the top, we have a filter button. Beside that is the input. Input, of course, is for changing the type of input that you have, whether it's S-Video or it's Component or Composite. You would flip through the channels and that's how that would work. On the back with the input and filter buttons is the HDMI out. This is what would go to your television or if you were doing video capture, this would go into your capture card. And here is a USB port and this is for updating the firmware as well as charging the device. So there are a lot of similarities here between these two devices, of course, in terms of hardware, because they need to connect to uh, similar hardware, respectively, which would be your retro gaming consoles. So I'm gonna flip around the 5X Pro, and as you can see, just like on the 2X Pro on the bottom here, we have our S video ports, and we're still on the back of the 5X Pro here, which we covered previously the component and composite ports again the same as the 2x pro the 5x pro has a usb port for firmware updating and charging the device powering it i should say as well as the hdmi out port the cool thing about the 5x pro uh, is that 
All these things are on the back. So you can have your device sit in front of your television or maybe on your console or on a VHS or DVD player deck or what have you. Uh, and you can use the remote from your couch and flip through all the different channel modes, uh, play with your features and stuff. Mike's always updating the FPGA chip in here. The firmware is always being updated. It's pretty amazing what he's been able to milk out, out of it so far. Uh, keep posted on that. I'll talk more about that probably in an upcoming video. This is just a hardware comparison uh, at the moment. But yeah, uh, one thing that this has that the 2X Pro doesn't have, of course, is the SCART port on the side. And what I really appreciate about this is that I can have more than one device connected to this at the same time with this cool little adapter that I ordered uh, through RetroTank through Mike's website. And you just plug this in set it to input and I can have my composite or S video signal being piped through the SCART port while also having say my Nintendo Wii hooked up into the component and um, I can just change the input signal on the box and leave everything connected. Previously with the 2X Pro you wouldn't be able to do that you'd always be unplugging things and uh, unplugging consoles and plugging new consoles in and what have you. That's just the nature of the device. That's just how it worked. Um, but of course, with the FPGA in the 5X Pro uh, and with the addition of the SCART, Mike's been able to uh, up the game in terms of functionality a little bit for the device, which is really appreciated. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like content like this, uh, please check out my other videos. I do a bunch of things in the realm of retro gaming, PC tech, I do tech guides. I also make a bunch of game mods. Uh, two big things that I'm working on right now is Star Wars Episode One Racer 4K and The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds 4K. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in digital tech or content creation, game mods, especially what I'm going to do with this device in the near future, a uh, whole series on VHS capture. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, please comment down below. I really appreciate feedback and the interaction. And of course it helps the channel. It's a pretty small channel and I'm trying to grow it. So I'd really appreciate your interaction and liking this video, doing all the YouTube -y things uh, that the algorithm likes to push things like this forward. Thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you in another video. Cheers. Peace.